Astip Foundation has been updated to include the latest Canadian Concrete Code, CSA A23.3, 2019. But what exactly has changed in the program? How do you invoke this new code? This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to discuss this new feature in ASDIP Foundation. Let's get started. The Canadian Concrete Code has been implemented in the design of all footings, spread footings, strap footings, combined footings, and wall footings. For example, let's create a calculation for a spread footing. Let's say example. Click on the new node. And this is a template for a spread footing design in ASDIP Foundation. To see the concrete codes available in the package, go to Design, Design Criteria, and then Codes. Here, in addition to the ACI of different editions, we have implemented now CSA A23.3.19. This is the Canadian code, both in concrete design and also in load combinations. Let's select this option in concrete code and also in load combinations. Click OK. The program looks similar that with ACI, but if we go to the detail tab, scroll down, we're going to see that all the concrete calculations now comply with the CSA concrete code. So all the formulas are exposed and all these formulas comply with the latest Canadian code. So if you live in Canada or you are working in a project that must comply with the CSA, then this feature is going to be very useful for you. So this punching shear, one-way shear, bending calculations, also low transfer to the foundation. All this now complies with the latest Canadian code. The column calculations as well. If we click on the combinations icon, we're going to see this new option added to this window, the CSA 823.319. Also, you can define your own load factors in this table. But if we select the CSA, which is a new feature, and click OK, so the load combinations are implemented in this design. Graphically, you can see here the load bearing calculations, the one-way shear, bending, and the column design. Also in the construction tab, you see some sketches in elevation view and plan view of the design footing. Let's go back to the project manager. If we now uh, create a calculation for a strap footing, say example, double click on this calculation, and this is a template for a strap footing design in ASDIP Foundation. Similarly to the previous module, let's go to the design criteria, codes, and select the CSA concrete code and also the CSA load combinations. Click OK. And now the design complies with this Canadian code. To check, let's go to the detail tab, scroll down to the concrete section. This is the one-way calculations. You can see the references to the CSA code. Flexure calculations also complying with the CSA. Punching shear calculations. Low transfer to the footing. And finally, the column design also complying with CSA. Graphically, this is soil bearing calculations the shear and moment diagrams, the column design interaction diagrams, and here is the construction sketches in elevation view and plan view. Let's go back to the project manager. Now let's create a calculation for a combined footing, say example. Double click on this. And this is a template for a combined footing design in ASDIP Foundation. Similarly, let's go to the design criteria Let's select the CSA code and CSA uh, load combinations. And now the design complies with this uh, concrete code. Let's go to the detail tab, scroll down. One-way shear calculations complying with CSA. 
select your design punch in shear and load transfer calculations graphically putting diagrams shear diagram and moment diagram here the interaction diagrams of the columns and then the construction uh, sketch in elevation and in plan view all this complies with the Canada concrete code create a calculation for a wall design let's click on this new calculation for wall footing and this is a template for a wall footing calculation in uh, as deep foundation likewise let's go to the design criteria codes and select the CSA concrete code and CSA load combinations click OK and now the design complies with the Canadian code let's go to the detail tab scroll down bending calculations complying with CSA load transfer calculations graphically bearing diagrams the shear diagrams, bending calculations, and the construction sketches in section view and plan view. Let's go back to the project manager. As you can see, now it's very easy to design footings complying with the CSA Canadian code, as the foundation now includes this feature. If you like the software, please visit the website www.asipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.